Okay, so now to save the uh, saved items to the storage, it's a lot more simple. Um, we'll go to the translation result, and all we need to do is inside this function here, it's basically call that um, set items function in the for the uh, storage. So just before we do the dispatch, I'm going to say await um, async storage, and make sure you add the import as well. Dot set item. Let me just check that did import. Yeah, so there's the import. Uh, dot set item and the key is going to be um, saved items and the value is going to be json dot stringify and new saved items that's it that will save it to, to the uh, storage now but because we're adding the await keyword there it needs to be an async function that we're in so make sure you go up to the top and add async there before our uh, arrow function cool so that will save uh, a saved item to the storage Let's go and retrieve it. So in the home screen, we'll simply copy and paste this if statement inside there and do the exact same thing, um, actually, and, and this uh, const as well. So copy that, paste it on the line below, uh, and this will be saved item string, item string, and that'll be get item saved items, whatever you added just then when you did the set item, make sure you add the same key. Uh, and then make sure you update this history string to uh, saved item string. And then this won't be history, this will be saved items equals uh, saved items string there. And then the function we want to call uh, in the saved items slice, I think we already have it, it's just the set saved items, so it just takes an items um, value. So in there, uh, we're going to call, instead of set history items, set saved items. Now we need to add the import for that, so click that and it will add the import for it. Uh, and items is not going to be history, it's going to be saved items that we have there. Okay, that should be it as well, you know. We've, I think we're good on that. We should be able to save this as storage. So if I reload the app, I'm hoping now that, there you go, it still re remembers it's saved. And I'll do another one. And uh, great, cool. So even the saved items now are persisting between app reloads. So real quick, just in case you get into a mess with the async storage and you need a way to clear it, um, a simple way is to go back to app.js and if you scroll up, um, you can, at the top here, just underneath the imports, you can add uh, async storage dot clear like this. Now that will clear the async storage, right? Uh, the problem is um, if you forget to uncomment that, it will uh, essentially mean every time the app loads, it will clear the storage. So don't forget to uncomment that. If you use that, and then run it, and you'll see it's cleared that now because it's run this async storage.clear. Forget about that warning, don't worry about it. Um, if I, let's say I moved on, I forgot I had that. For some reason, my storage would never work, and I'll, I'll be so confused. Um, I've definitely done this before. So if you're gonna do this, this is like an, for emergencies only, don't forget to remove it. I'm gonna keep those two together just so I know that they belong together, and then I'll just comment them both out. So if I ever need to, if I ever get into a state where for some reason the app won't load or something and I can't, you know, I can't access the storage or like I can't access the button on the, one of my pages in order to clear the storage, I can just use this as an emergency, get out of jail free card, okay? But make sure you remember to comment it back out and then save it.